The Cretaceous lasted from 145 to 66 million years ago and is the final period of the Mesozoic Era. With iconic dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops dominating the land, this time span has become perhaps the most recognizable of all prehistoric periods. During the middle to late Cretaceous, a warm climate led to the formation of numerous inland seas across much of the planet. In North America, the Western Interior Seaway ran from the Gulf of Mexico north to the Arctic Ocean. This body of water was filled with life, from the Plesiosaur Elasmosaurus to the early bird Hesperornis. Also inhabiting this seaway was a prehistoric crocodilian which grew to gigantic sizes. Dinosuchus lived from approximately 82 to 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. This crocodilian was truly enormous, with the largest individuals reaching a length of 12 meters and weighing upwards of 8,000 kilograms. While often described as the largest crocodilian to ever exist, species like Sarcosuchus and Parasaurus may have equaled or even exceeded the size of Dinosuchus. Despite its impressive proportions, Dinosuchus was otherwise similar to modern alligators in appearance. Like in the crocodiles and alligators of today, Dinosuchus' back was covered by bony scutes or osteoderms. However, Dinosuchus' osteoderms were unusually large and deeply pitted. Researchers believe that these pits and grooves functioned as attachment points for connective tissue. This tissue, working together with Dinosuchus' osteoderms, served to support and reinforce the massive body of this prehistoric crocodilian. It is due to this system that Dinosuchus was able to walk on land. Growth ring analysis of fossilized osteoderms has revealed that Dinosuchus likely reached its full size at around 35 years and had an overall lifespan of approximately 50. The distribution of discovered Dinosuchus fossils seems to imply that these creatures were most commonly found in estuaries and brackish bays. Certain specimens have also been found in marine deposits, suggesting that Dinosuchus may have ventured into the ocean much like the saltwater crocodile of today. However, it is also possible that these remains were carried out to sea after the animal's death, and that these crocodilians rarely wandered far beyond the shoreline. When on the hunt, Dinosuchus would have ambushed its prey by the water's edge, subsequently dragging them underwater until they drowned. Paleontologists have noted that the large size of this predator would only be necessary if it consumed extremely large prey. In addition, Dinosuchus had extremely strong jaws and is estimated to have had a bite force exceeding even that of Tyrannosaurus. It is therefore most likely that Dinosuchus hunted at least some of the large dinosaurs which existed within its range. This is further evidenced by the presence of Dinosuchus tooth marks on the fossilized vertebrae of several hadrosaurs. Similar bite marks have also been found on the preserved shells of the sea turtle Bothremus, implying that this crocodilian also hunted smaller prey. Dinosuchus most likely used the rounded teeth towards the back of its jaws to crush this turtle's defensive shell. This apex predator died out before the end of the Cretaceous period, but its impressive size continues to captivate our attention to this day.